Hey guys, what's up? Back with another internal review today. This is of the Javelin Airsoft Gunworks M16. Uh, I'm pretty sure it, um, the internals are the same as their uh, M4 series, but this does not have a blowback type uh, unit. So let me crack the gearbox open here and uh, show you what Javelin has to offer for an airsoft gun. Now one thing about this gun that has already uh, failed is the wire unit. If you can uh, notice right here, the trigger uh, shuttle is out of place. So that's not a good thing, but I'm replacing that right now. Here's a good shot of the grease job. As you can see, it's pretty uh, terrible. One pro for this gun though is that it does come with a 7mm bearing uh, bushings. It looks like metal, uh, which is one thing I always look for in a gun. Metal bushings just improve the longevity of your gun's life. Metal spring guide, version 2 compatible. It's got two washers on the back to prevent binding. It does have a shortened down type spring, which is already kind of bent. And it feels pretty weak uh, for an M16. Uh, around an M100, I'd say. So uh, if you're going to get this gun, I'd recommend putting a new spring in it, M110. The piston is similar to a, a JG type piston, which I actually have right here. You can see they're almost the same thing. The only thing, the only difference is the JG one has a metal plate. This one does not. Uh, you can see it's kind of cut out right there. And then the ports are different. The cylinder here does have a, a, a slot. I don't know why. This is a full length inner barrel. So that made no sense to me. It's black. It's pretty lubed up. But they should just, uh, I'd get a new cylinder unit as well. Air nozzle is nothing special, no internal o-ring. The tappet plate is pretty flexible, um, but it's sturdy enough. Now let's get to the gears. They're not marked anywhere, they're just generic metal gears, I guess. There's no wear on them at all. Anti-reversal latch. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's got some shims on it. It is a loud gun. You see there. But yeah, overall, it's kind of in between, say, uh, you know, a JG and, say, you know, a higher-end G&G. &G. But, you know, you get what you pay for in Airsoft, and uh, I, I, it's above, just above average for a gearbox. But yeah, there's a quick little video on the uh, Javelin M16.